Saturday. Vehicles are going by. So it's noisy out on the road. And I am trying to get some yard work done. I'm currently waiting for a plumber to come because I got a 83-year-old house with 83-year-old plumbing issues. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one who's been living here in the last 83 years, well, at least in the last 50 years, including me, I've been here since 97, have had the income to tear out all the old plumbing and replace it with all new. So it means periodic calls to the plumbers to come and get drains cleaned and that kind of stuff done. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Ah, I got a raw yard full of seed pods from my honey locust. So I am currently trying to rake it up, get my piles made, and then I can haul them away. Fortunately, as I look up inside the tree, I see that there are very few seed pods left. Most of them have blown down on the ground during the winter. And so I've got a lot of raking to do here today to get these all raked up. And then we will uh, figure out what I'm going to do with them this year. <laughs> well, my plumber is here and he's hard at work right now trying to see if he can get things cleaned out right now. And in the meantime, I've gotten quite a few piles here, all of them raked up everywhere. But as everyone can see, I still have lots and lots of seed pods to get raked up on this side of the property. <sighs> well, hoping he can get my old drains working. Nothing like having an 83-year-old house with an 83-year-old septic system. Ew. Really wish I could get that updated. Oh, my strawberries are out today and they are loving life. Look at look at those. Look at those plants are looking. They are getting so so big. Just so big. Well, the plumber is gone. He wasn't able to get things cleaned out the way he wanted to because he didn't have the right bit on his machine. And he's going to be back next Saturday and hopefully with the correct bit so he can get down there and uh, see if we can get things cleaned out. But in the meantime, I've got so many more seed pods i got to get all raked up. So, I guess I better get, get her done. Time to get her done. Oh God, look at those clouds. Just love, those are just amazing cloud formations up there. Okay, squirrel brain, sorry. Seed pods, more piles, make more piles. Well folks, top off my day. After raking up leaves, I have come out to check on my little sapling trees. Got some nice little buds forming. It's hard to get this thing to focus on the buds. It wants to focus on the wire. <laughs> it's like, yay, focus on the bud. <sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to focus. But it's got some really nice buds on this little sapling tree. I've been out back here in the little back pasture, raking up or flattening pocket gopher mounds, uh, getting it ready. So when I do start mowing out here, I'm not mowing over a lot of stuff. This one's getting a lot of good buds on it too. This little tree is. I'm going to have to trim off all those little lower branches and just keep some upper ones. I'm going to have to start staking them, too. They're going to need staked. And, uh, yeah. Just 
all this raking. Got a lot of raking done. Still got a lot of low spots. Got to watch it. Sometimes I suddenly sink up to my ankles where they've excavated. This one's got some really nice buds on it too. So all three of my little sapling trees did well, made it through the winter, and they're starting to bud out nicely. Which makes me very, very happy. So, that's a little update on the little trees. My raking has gone from raking up all the piles of seeds to raking smooth all the piles of dirt. Yeah, they did a number on it over the winter. <sighs> well, everyone, it's getting evening, sun's going down, and it's time to get my strawberries and put them away back in the garage, back porch, not the garage, the back porch. And then I'll leave you with a beautiful view of our lovely Idaho's sunset. See you all on the next video.